Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi everyone, Sue at 1A Auto here. Today we're going to install the purge valve solenoid. And that's located up here in the engine compartment. So if you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link in the description and head on over to 1AAuto.com. I'm going to undo both of these clamps. A pair of just needle nose. One there, one in the back. Slide them off from the hose. And I'm just going to use them to pry the hose off. There's the one in the back and the one in the front. Now you can see the connector. This is mounted on a rubber bushing that comes right there. You see that? Comes with the sensor. And that just manipulates out. You weasel that right out of there. Let's take the sensor off of it and we'll get it out of there. So here's the sensor. And there's the connector tab. I'm going to push down on that. And there's your purge valve solenoid. Now with the sensor out of the way, it's easier for me to just pull that rubber right out of the way. Because the uh, new sensor comes with a new mounting rubber. Here we have our new sensor from 1aauto.com and the OE factory one that we just took out of our 07 Mazda. They are the same height, diameter, two inlets, inlet and outlet of hose, same diameter, two wire connector, and the new one comes with a new rubber mount. So if you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. Basically, we're going to reverse procedure here to reconnect. I'm going to connect the connector first before I put the rubber mount on that bushing. So the tab was on the bottom. I'm going to line those up, push it in until it clicks. And now you see the slotted on the rubber mount? That's going to go right on to this ear on the steel bracket. If you need to, you can uh, put a little spray on there to help it help it on, but I'm going to just give it a best effort. There it is. It's on. We can mount the back hose and put the front hose on. All this time, I'm, I did inspect the hoses, make sure there's no tears or uh, cracks, no dry rot. And we'll just remount the clamps. Okay, and there you go. Your EVAP solenoid sensor is hooked up, and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.